Hello and welcome to this episode of Danny's Tips, where you'll learn how to create the popular orange and teal look in Lightroom. This is a very easy tutorial and it's perfect for beginners. You'll learn how to use the camera calibration sliders to shift the hue, and then you're going to learn how to use the tone curves to create a simple faded look. This technique can also be used to create other similar warm and cool color combinations. For example, if you don't want the orange and teal look, you can create a pink and cyan look instead. By the way, if you only use Photoshop, you can still follow along with the camera raw filter which is in the Photoshop filters menu. Start by going to the develop module, and then scrolling all the way down to the camera calibration area. You can technically do this with the HSL sliders, but it's much easier and faster to do it with the camera calibration sliders. Here, set the blue here to minus 100, and you'll notice that you'll have the teal colors already. For the oranges, Shift the red hue to around 50. By the way, you don't have to enter exact settings and you can definitely play around with the saturation sliders as well. It all depends on the look you're going for. We now have the teal orange look, and some of you might say, but it doesn't look like the stuff that I see on Instagram. And that's because people usually add some sort of faded look to it. Sometimes it's a Instagram filter, sometimes it's a film preset, and sometimes it's just a simple tone curve. For that, go to your tone curves adjustment here. There's two modes for your tone curves, and you want to be in the point curve mode. If you're not in this mode, you can click on this button here to switch. If you don't know how to use the tone curves, but you want to learn more about it, there's a link to a video tutorial inside the info card on the top right corner. But the tone curves that we're going to do is very simple, and you can follow along simply by imagining that the tone curves look like this. If we add a point to the middle here, it's telling Lightroom to take this tone here, which is roughly around 50% gray, and either make it brighter if we drag it upwards, or darker if we drag it downwards. That's just a very simplified way of looking at it, and it'll help you get through the rest of this tutorial. For the faded look, simply drag the bottom left node towards the center like this. This will do two things, it'll lift and crush the blacks, giving you a flat look in the shadows. You can also do this with the top right point, which will do the same thing to the whites. For the mid-tone contrast, you can create a very slight S-curve. I usually like to start off by adding a point right in the middle which will keep the mid-tones where they are. And then you can add one or two points around it to create an S-curve like this. And we're done! Here's how the image looks like before and after. You can also use this technique to create other color variations. Right before I was done writing the script for this video, I found a post on the post processing subreddit where someone asked how to create a pink and cyan look. It's hard to tell from this photo of a printed photo what the exact colors are, but it looks like you can create this with the same technique and slightly different settings. Basically instead of orange and teal, it's pink and cyan. So by playing around, I was able to get something similar by setting the red hue to minus 100, the red saturation to minus 100, and if you need to, you can go into HSL and increase the red luminance. And here's how it looks like before and after. Hey, thanks for watching this and I hope you enjoyed it. That was just a quick tutorial on how to create a two-tone effect in Lightroom. Now if you're creating a preset for other people, you definitely want to do it the more proper way of using the HSL sliders, because sometimes people they need to use the camera calibration sliders for things like color correction. But if it's for yourself, it doesn't really matter. Anyways, I hope you guys have an awesome day. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you again next week.